everybody, welcome back to VVC Science. Today, our instructor is going to be Victor. Victor, what are we doing today? Hello, um, today we are going to be making balloon hovercrafts. Nice. It's, it's so, I want to explain to you quickly the, the concept of friction. So, I'm going to take, so I'm going to quickly take this disc and you can see if I slide across the, the counter, it just stops. That is because the, the two surfaces are rubbing against each other and, and and they are causing a causing a slowdown because it's snagging onto the disc. But if you but if you were to take something at, such as a balloon and a disc, as you would have the air pressure being released from the balloon, pushing the pulling the disc up off the ground, allowing it to just float across the counter space. So cool. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of supplies are our friends going to need in order to make their hovercraft? Well, all you're going to need is the disc and the balloon that have pro that were provided to you on Friday. And, and if, the, if the disc and the nozzle come off, don't worry, you just need a hot glue gun to reattach it. So, when you, to get started, what you're going to want to do is go and blow up your balloon. And then what I recommend you do is you get a friend here, I'm going to do this, I'll do it on my own since I've done it quite a few times. And so you twist it up about three or four times, just so that when you hold it here, it doesn't become the air doesn't escape. Grab it by all corners and just peel it over here, and then you can go ahead and untwirl the balloon. And then to get and to make the magic happen, I will I say now if you don't want the effect spoiled for you, go ahead and try it out for yourself. And just pull up the tab without peeling off the balloon and release it. You see that if I push it, it just completely glides around without having anything, without slowing down until the air runs out. And if I do it here with a big balloon with a whole lot more capacity, you see it goes a whole lot faster and a whole lot further than the, uh, than the plain disc that was just scratching across the counter. So what happens if they want to make one of these? Could they make one of these all by themselves? Yeah, you, you would, as I as maybe you would just need, need the disc and the balloon to attach them. Um, and it would, just, it's a whole lot of fun to try. So, I was your shopper. I managed to find these sports drink lids on water bottles at Lidl. So I bought a case of them and that's why you guys have all of these. They're not always easy to find. So if you come across them and you want to do this project, Everybody's got some old CDs floating around in their house that they're not using anymore. So go ahead and try it. It's kind of fun to have a race. Victor, is there any real life time when they do it? I mean, this is a fun little game, but does somebody do this in real life? Uh, yes, there are, there are very small applications, such as is, uh, air hockey ta tables, which work in the, in the opposite way, actually, where instead of having an air being pushed down under it, instead, it, the air is being pushed up from the table pushing it so that, that, the, that the hockey puck is just gliding over it. That's why you, you, you usually never see a, a air hockey puck just standing in place. Go ahead and try it. Turn the air off and see if your hockey puck goes anywhere. Mm -hmm. But then there are also a whole lot bigger applications for this technology, such as is military uses for hovercrafts that can carry things as big as two full-size tanks across the water without stopping when, bird, when boarding across the land. Pretty amazing. Let's go over one more time the supplies they're going to need to do this. So, as I said before, you're going to need your balloon and your disc. Make sure that the cap here is down. You're going to want to blow up your balloon. Twist it off. Pull over the, pull over the, the mouthpiece. It's over the cap. Untwist. Grab the base of the cap piece. Pull up and release. And that's it. And that was our fun with science today. Go ahead and experiment with this. If your air isn't coming out fast enough, you know you could put a piece of tape over the hole on the bottom. And it would make your air maybe force out faster. Play around with it. You could decorate your disc. Nothing too heavy though. Find out what you could do and have fun. Bye, everybody. Bye.